I on? Yeah? All right. I'm uh, Jason Smith from Rackspace. Today we're gonna be talking a little bit more about Nova Cells. Um, it looks like my slideshow got all messed up though, so let me. There you go. Ignore everything that just happened. This is the beginning right here, for reals. <laughs> Okay, so today we're gonna be talking a little bit about Nova Cells, how it can help your business. Uh, one of the things that Rackspace has is the OpenStack, OpenStack has the mission. The mission here is to produce the open source cloud, and the really important thing about this, I believe, is a massively scalable cloud. There have been lots of different challenges in being able to massively scale your cloud and to also continue to manage it. So through here, we've got the whole evolution of OpenStack from Austin, Bear, all the way up to Grizzly. One of the key features, I believe, is Nova Cells in Grizzly, which is Grizzly. 230 plus new features one of those key features is Nova Cells. Some of the things that Cells kind of allows you to do is to make it more scalable. You have the parent cell, you have your child cell. It's a lot easier to keep track of everything. It's modular, so with OpenStack, you've got all the different projects, all the different services. Nova Cells is one of those, so you can choose to use it if you'd like to. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Provides for uh, some better flexibility. So as we can see with this, we've got kind of how it is without cells, right? You've got your compute services, your API scheduler, and then you've got all of your hypervisors down there. There's no way to kind of schedule out where that load goes. So if you have a job that requires a high compute host, there's not a real good way to do that. You have to do it through the Nova scheduler. So you come up with Nova cells, you have the option to have these different cells, and then you can use the scheduler to send each of those uh, specialized types of jobs to the host that can handle it. You can have a SSD uh, cell, you can have a high compute cell, you can have an ARM processor cell, kind of whatever you want to do there. So currently, cells is considered experimental in Grizzly. Uh, Rackspace has actually been running it in production for 12 plus months, so we have plenty of experience with that. We are also committed to further development on Nova Cells and continuing to keep it going. Some of the rackers that we have contributing are Chris Behrens, Monsignor Dragon, who just goes by Dragon, uh, Brian Lamar, Alex Mead, all of these people are available at the OpenStack Summit. You can talk to them. And then we've got me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so uh, you can reach me at Aslan on Twitter, my email address. There's plenty of people at the OpenStack Summit today to talk about it. We've got the Rackspace booth, which is just right over there. Over there, we've got plenty of uh, Cloud Evangelist, plenty of people here to help represent Rackspace at Nova or at, at the OpenStack Summit. So if you have any questions, feel free to stop by. And I think I'm done a little early today, but <laughs> that's pretty much it. Wayne, anything? No, we're good. <laughs> 